And you're so willing to take them, Lord. We, we give them up. We say, well, I'm kind of tired of what I've been doing. I've been tired of the way I've been living. I'm tired of everything but, I, but good you, God. And I need right now. Speak to our hearts, God. Speak to our souls. Give us new life this morning. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. This week I got to spend time with McCall. It was good. It was cold up there? It was a little cold, but not too bad. Not 60 degrees, but it wasn't bad. Did get a little bit of snow when I was there. Got to stay at Camp Light Haven and then got to speak at a camping convention. Uh, being a camp with, around camp people made me start thinking back to my own camp stories. And uh, that's pretty fun times. Um, I, I don't know if you've noticed, but if you've gone camping at all, there is a big central component to camping that is essential. You really can't go camping without this one thing. There's people who tent camp, RV camp, um, condo camp, it's not really camping. It's backpacking. It's canoe camping. But there is one central thing that is camping. If you don't have this, as far as I'm concerned, you didn't camp. A fire. fire. <laughs> you don't have a fire, you don't have a camp. Anymore. So you about know, fire this week. Um, there's something about fire that, that makes people move in ways they never have before. <laughs> move away from the smoke. <laughs> I worked uh, at, at a camp when I was 16 years old, and I was uh, I was program director. It came to be 4th of July, and there's nothing really better than the 4th of July at camp, because now you're talking about fire. Fireworks in camp. It's all together. It's a fabulous thing. So it was a 4th of July program director, and I got this brilliant idea. The camp that I worked at was called Naples Valley Ranch. It doesn't exist any longer, and that's probably a good thing. This small, um, this small pond, we call it the puddle, because it wasn't a lake. It, to call it a lake was an insult to lake. So, and to call it a pond was almost an insult to pond, so we call it a puddle. And in the middle, coming out of the one end of this thing was this, this dead tree. It was cut off, but the stump still came up out of the water. And I got the brilliant idea that what if we took out kind of a raft, and there were these big pieces of styrofoam. I have no idea where they came from. They were like about this thick and longer than my arm span, probably. What if we took some of those out, put a piece of plywood on it, lashed it to the, to the tree, and then we could light fireworks off over the water. Because there's nothing as, as beautiful as fireworks over the water, right? This is a brilliant idea. So we worked this all out, we get it tied up, and then we send some counselors out in a canoe to light the fireworks off. Now, counselors are chosen for a lot of things at this camp, not necessarily for their intelligence. And so we all the campers lined up on the road, and, and they're there, and it's kind of the sand, and it's not really a beach. Don't call it that, because that's insulting to beaches. And there's the guys in the canoe, and we went and bought the biggest stuff we could find. It's up near Austin, Texas. It isn't much. But, you know, they didn't, we couldn't get the illegal stuff like we get around here and everybody gets, goes over to, you know, Oregon and brings the illegal stuff back. It wasn't like that. But they, we had this, this tube that you put this firework ball with a long wick on it, drop it down, and it light it, and you go up. This was a great thing. And we got, like I said, we got big stuff, as big stuff as we could get. We sent it out, a bunch of this out with this, these guys in this canoe. They paddled over to the barge and they're lighting their fireworks off. Except they had not gotten the memo that the way the fireworks worked was you took the ball and you dropped it in the tube. So they put the ball on top of the plywood and lit it. <laughs> now it has no direction for its momentum. Okay? Well, the first thing is there's propellant to get it up in the air. So it starts just sliding, moving around this, this piece of plywood with, with styrofoam underneath with dudes in a canoe right next to it. And then it starts doing circles, you know? And the circles are getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And the guys are starting to freak out and trying to move away in the canoe until the ball lands inside the canoe and starts chasing them around the canoe. The guys flying out. It was a fantastic time. There's something amazing about fire. It's fire. Um, I worked at a camp in Colorado. And, and it was about 9,000 feet in the air, higher than, than McCall. So it is cold all summer long. Every, you know, every morning you're wearing sweatshirts and stuff, because it's cold. Well, we get up in the morning, and, and there's a lot of camps I've worked at. You have staff worship in the morning before we start. So we'd all go to, this, to the camp director's cabin. You have this large living space, and everyone would pile in there. And we'd have worship, and you're not awake. You've been up half the night with campers and doing stupid stuff with, you know, with staff. And so you're all there with bleary eyes, it's cold, and, and that room didn't have heat. So what they did to heat it was, is they took the stove and they turned the burners on and opened up the oven and turned it on and let that heat just radiate through the room. That was the, the heating element. This is 
not really an energy efficient way to heat a house. If you're wondering, don't try. It's much cheaper to do other things. Well, I think that, they, that the oven was closed this one day, but the furnace were on, and, and one of the counselors came in late, couldn't find a place to stand, and so he's leaning up against the stove. <laughs> Which was fine, worship's going on, someone's talking, everyone's half asleep, until suddenly this guy starts doing the happy dance. Right in the middle of worship, I mean the spirit has come on him, and he is charismatically dancing in a pretty traditional conservative camp where we didn't do that kind of thing. And, and suddenly he's like levitating, bouncing, just moving out the door, and we're all kind of wondering where from. Then he stopped, dropping and rolled, because there, if he stopped, dropping and rolled there, he would have landed on counselors and just spread the fire to other people. So he went out, ran outside, landed in the dirt, stopped, dropped and rolled. We're all kind of like, that was really, he was on fire! <laughs> that man made himself on fire! 